I'm not going to go into into great great detail with this. You saw my um, other other um, movie of this. I was uh, I was disappointed, really to say the least. I've been waiting six or seven months for this to come through, and my hopes for this were really up there. You know, I was expecting it to be a standout piece. It was going to be the uh, the best piece in my collection, and. Uh, the first one arrived about two or three weeks ago, and um, it was a disappointment. It was um, similar kind of problems as what I've got with this one, really, where the the paintwork is just very patchy. It's not not consistent in any way at all. Um, but the other one, I, I had I had the issues with the neck again, where the the paint was missing and it was still white. Um, another issue. That I had with the other one is that the the one area on the neck on the one side um, it's been repaired and it was lumpy and then it's been over sprayed and then over sprayed again so it left the paintwork extremely glossy and lumpy now if you compare that with the the rest of the bus which anyone who owns one of these already knows that it's more of a, a satin finish a semi gloss finish so with that repair and it being ultra gloss, it just it didn't match anything else on the bus, and it was also it was very dark as well because it obviously had several coats of paint. So that was the other other issue on on the first bus. Um, the other thing that I wasn't happy with on the first one is that at the back of the neck, again it looked like it had been repaired. It looked like there may have been a hole at the back of the neck, and what I'd done is filled the hole and hadn't sanded it flat properly so it just left a ring and a lump in the back of the neck so I returned that one and then about a week later I had I had this one come through and I was I'd got high hopes again as you can imagine I thought yep yeah, okay that was a fluke it's not going to happen again this one's going to be perfect so I unpacked it removed the polystyrene lifted the paper film, peeled it back and the first thing I noticed on this is, and you aren't going to, you aren't going to, you aren't going to see this really on this film, is that it looks like that they'd removed um, an imperfection in the front of the face and what they'd done is, is sanded it down and they used two coarse of sandpaper so on this bus now what I've got, I've got swirl marks right in the middle of his face in between his eyes. I can see it from here easily but I mean it just it's not going to it's not you just can't pick it up on the video unfortunately because it's quite a bright surface and then the other issue is that and it, it, it sort of contradicts the the video that I previously shown on this is that this area in uh, in daylight it looks very um, milky and pale but actually if you put it in a shaded area like this what it does is that this is actually the opposite it's very dark on this side of the collar, it's um, it's quite well painted. It's very evenly painted, um, but as you move across onto this side of the collar, it's very patchy again, and it's almost more like a, a, um, a matte finish, as if it's not had a, a proper coating of lacquer. I mean, I'm I'm not an expert on these. It could be that I'm not sure, but um, it's either that or the paint has reacted in some way, and it's it's just not worked out very well. And then, of course, the um, other issues, as you saw on the previous video, is, is basically the neck, and that seems to be a popular one with these busts, where the inside of the neck isn't painted very well. Now, if it's right up inside there, you, you can't really see it, but the fact that it's coming round on the, more towards the front area, and this is more of a pinky colour on the inside of my, of this one here, on the shoulders, it's just, it just, it doesn't look very good at all. Um, I mean, on the sideshow video, uh, I was watching it a few days ago, and they were saying they were trying to get, uh, well, not trying, that they'd managed to get a new car look, you know, sort of a, a new car body finish. I tell you, if I bought a car and the bodywork was like this, that car would be going back. You know, it was. Well, anyway, I'm I'm disappointed about it. I'm not going to go on on about it anymore. You know, I think that that uh, sideshow. Is a superb company. I mean, I've, I've got loads of stuff 
in this bedroom. I've been collecting for the past year and a half almost now and I think it's a fantastic company. So, you know, it's a blip, it's happened. These tend to be a little bit hit and miss. You either get a, a good one, a bad one, or sometimes it's in between the two. Um, but I'm going to st still keep on, on collecting Sideshow. I think it's a fabulous company. I've, I've just picked up a couple more pieces with the, the Frankenstein bust, which I'll, uh, not bust, sorry, uh, premium format, and also Lara Croft premium format. So I'm going to do reviews on there and they are superb pieces very happy with them i've got uh, a few items on order from sideshow so like i say you know i'm still going to be ordering off sideshow this is just i'd imagine sideshow are just wishing that this one just went away now you know it's they've had, i think i mentioned they've had quite a few few problems with this and uh, it's unfortunate but you know i'm going to move on i'm looking forward to um some some more pieces in the future I've seen the video um, of the Pred Alien bust, which uh, was G32 a Gorilla who sent me the link, and thanks, thanks a lot for that. And that looks amazing. I mean, that thing is huge, and no doubt it's going to cost a fortune. But I've, I've got to have that. That just looks fantastic, and I'm sure that, uh, that they're going to make a fantastic job of it as well. So that's the end of this um, this review, and. Um, I'm going to do a few other reviews and upload those in the next few days. Thanks guys.